Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Hey, it is Beluga time once again. We're going to be checking out the PFP-01T. That's right, the Tanto Beluga. Of course, Nashorn Knives design, but we've seen several different variations of the Beluga. The regular size, the mini, now we've got the Tanto. Very, very cool. Now, there's several different models of this available. They've got three G10 models. I believe it's red, green, and black, if I'm not mistaken. And the green micarta, the natural micarta, and blue micarta. Oh, and it's the flax micarta. Oh, I love, love what Petrified Fish is doing with that flax micarta. Absolutely, 100%. It's just got a great, great feeling to it. There you go, Nashorn Knives. Little guy in there. Let's take a look at our handle. Again, everything is just done very, very well. You've got that micarta backspacer. You do have a lanyard post in there. Very, very good. Oh, and you guys know the Beluga does the way I want everybody to do pocket clips, pretty much. I would love, love to see every company do, you know, I mean, like this, obviously, where they can understand. It's not possible at some, but man. On these budget knives, G10, Micarta, that type of thing, I would just love to see pocket clips done like that every single time. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, very, very, I mean, it's overall shape. It's a beluga. Not really anything a whole lot different. Um, it does look like to me, now, obviously, I don't have the original beluga with me. Um, reviewed that a long time ago, have given it away. But it looks like to me that they've kind of stepped down the front flipper a little bit. It's not as prominent on the Tanto as it was on the original. And if I remember correctly, uh, the Mini, it looked like it was sized down as well. Obviously, it's sized down because it's a Mini, but it wasn't, it didn't protrude as much. But super, super easy to operate. I mean, you guys know I, I am not the best at a front flipper. It's just, you know, lack of coordination or whatever. But man, this one, yeah. It is super, super easy to flip. Got to get it past the detent ball on the drop. But other than that, action, as I said, flips really, really nice. You got that fuller there. And if I get it, can I do it? I know I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, you got a nice fuller there to reverse flick. Absolutely. Now, what do you got looking at here? You've got K110. There's your PFP01T, K110. Obviously, now this is a black coated blade. They call it black stone washed. And it, I mean, it's a light, light stone wash. But it, it's there. It's there. You can kind of see it. Get it back there in the light. There you go. You can kind of see it. To me, it's a pretty light stone wash, but the action running on double road ceramic bearing. Action in the drop is just, yeah, really, really nice. Now, all right, now let's look at this Tanto blade. Now, I know I've had some fun with it. Let me wipe that oil off. I've had some fun with this Tanto blade. First time I saw it, uh, during my live streams, I've mentioned it. But it, it kind of reminds me of a palette knife that probably one of the most awesome painters I've ever watched, Bob Ross, um, he used in his paintings. And, and I've had fun with that. And I mean no disrespect to Petrified Fish or anything like that. Um, actually, to me, it's kind of a compliment because Bob was just an amazing, amazing person. And it's just... It actually made me happy to see this blade style. Now, there again, you guys know Tantos aren't necessarily my favorite. Wow, what kind of effect was that? This is like, Tanto! Um, anyway, see, it did it again. Oh, wow. It, it like, okay, let's, uh, let's switch things around. Okay, there we go. Um, it's like, Tanto blade! Uh, <laughs> It, it, this blade style really, really made me happy, uh, because it made me think of Bob Ross, and he was just an amazing, an amazing person, but I mean, this blade, 
yeah. Now, I will say it's probably not the best for me in my work application and cutting rope. Because, I mean, our cutting edge there, we'll, we'll take a look at it. I mean, you're looking at, you know, it, but it just kind of popped off. It, it would come through okay, but that's a pretty steep, steep drop off. And packages, regular, normal, everyday EDC test, this knife's going to rock it and there's not going to be an issue. None whatsoever. Um, but more specific tasks for like me with rope, I didn't really, I didn't really care for it in that aspect. Um, but as far as a knife that made me happy, I would own this knife just for that fact. That it reminds me of Bob Ross and it makes me happy. Does it work? Yeah, it'll do what you want it to do. It'll do your EDC task. Yeah, n there's no issues there. But for no other fact that it just makes me happy. But, all right, now let's get our specs. One, two, three, four, five, six. S Whoa, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> wow, pushing out right about eight, probably a little over eight. Looking darn near four and three quarters on your handle. Let's get it back here. And roughly about three and a half on your blade. Now that's straight edge cutting you're looking at about two and a quarter that's kind of why i was saying it kind of slipped off that you know larger rope that i use at work I, I like a three inch blade for that it just seems like it does a little bit better without dropping off out of that tanto point so that that's kind of what i was getting at there your grip length i mean your grip length you've got all of four inches for darn near four and a quarter and that's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand this handle definitely fills my hand up definitely kind of tall what do we got there as far as height overall height i mean it's about an inch and a quarter through here it's it's tall it definitely fills the hand up my hand up pretty pretty well now you do have some jimping there um ah, ah, i'll talk about it you do have the jimping it's my thumb gets out uh, yeah, the jimping probably, since it's there, and I'm, I'm it's meant to be used, it, it could use a little help. Uh, my thumb gets kind of gets out in front of it, and it's probably, yeah, not the best grip I've seen on jimping. All right, there you go. Well, uh, size comparisons, here we go. Let's do that. So there it is, up against the PM2. Uh, as far as girthy and everything else, uh, pretty, yeah, the Tanto's got it. The Beluga Tanto. All right, let's check out PM, or the Bug Out, excuse me. Bug Out, obviously much bigger than the bu Bug Out. Let's get a weight on it. Ooh, let's move that over here. And we'll get the scale. What do we have? We have definitely got some girth and weight to it. 5.5 ounces. Not bad. It carried pretty well, actually. 156 grams. That's what it was. Yep, 156 grams. So definitely has some weight to it. Uh, the pocket clip, though, I love. Love, love, love. Boom, gone. Can't see it. No, it does have beluga there on your pocket clip. Nah, it doesn't really bother me. Overall, uh, it's a very, very solid knife. Uh, Petrified Fish is pretty much knocking these out of the park, guys. I have not met a Petrified Fish knife yet that wasn't... Uh, there was the one, There was one that I was like, okay, it's got the big Petrified Fish on it. But it, for the most part... These knives have been super solid, very, very well built. And now, like I said, for your EDC task and everything like this, yes, this knife is going to perform and do everything that you would want it to. Um, for me, in a work aspect and cutting rope, not quite enough on the straight edge that I like. Like I said, I like more out towards three inches. And like I said, we're sitting here at about two and a quarter. 
on that. So, a little bit more. A little bit more. <sighs> Ergonomically, yeah, it's solid. That clip was concerned about the clip just a little bit. It's not bad at all. Um, the imp You know, as far as improvements go, the jimping, um, it, does it need to be there? No, it's there. So let's make it a little bit more usable. Um, put it out, push it out just a little bit more. I think it's really more for the front flipping aspect of it, which in that aspect, I don't really even feel like it's gripping my thumb. So, I mean, I, yeah, I suppose it is. I suppose it's doing what it's supposed to. But, you know, it's another solid knife. It really is. Petrified fish, like I said, they're really, really knocking it out with these knives. I've got another one on the way, hopefully. Uh, at least I was told I did, so I'm looking forward to that. These are just fun. I have fun with every petrified fish knife that comes in. But look what you get in this one. Now, I said this one's running on double row ceramic bearings. Got some bronze bushings. It's got some screws. Got a cleaning cloth. Some of them, they come with extra stuff. Some knives don't. That's just the way they do it. So, okay. This one, you get some goodies. You get goodies with this one. A fish that comes with goodies. Never, never a bad deal. Very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, the overview, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. It's me talking about a knife, and I have fun doing it. So, And I hope you have fun watching it. Absolutely. Thanks so much, guys. Always appreciate you. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.